In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the percent ionization of a weak acid. The question reads, find the percent ionization of a 2.5 molar HNO2, which is a nitrous acid solution. To find the percent ionization, you must find the equilibrium concentration of hydronium. So when this acid dissociates, it will dissociate into the conjugate base and H3O+. Let's go ahead and find the concentration of H3O+. First, I'll write a balanced chemical equation where I have HNO2 plus liquid water, and this is aqueous, yields, as mentioned, the conjugate base, which is the anion of this molecule. So NO2 minus, because it has donated a proton to H2O, and that becomes H3O plus. These are both aqueous. Now we need to find the concentration of H3O+. I'll create an ice table where I have I, C, E. I represents initial, change, and equilibrium concentrations. We've been told the initial concentration of the weak acid. It is 2.5 molar. We don't need to worry about H2O because that's not part of the equilibrium expression anyway, since it's a liquid. Given that HNO2 is a weak acid, we will form very little H3O+, so I'll write down approximately equal to zero, and the concentration of NO2- minus at the very beginning is zero. Next, I'll write down the equilibrium expression in reference to the acid ionization constant, K sub A. We have K sub A is equal to the concentration at equilibrium for these two molecules being multiplied, H3O+, plus times the concentration of NO2 minus. Now keep in mind that this equation needs to be balanced, and it is balanced. So when you do a problem like this, you have to be certain that it is balanced before you can write this expression out. Over the concentration of HNO2 at equilibrium. So we can substitute in K sub A. That's given in the question 4.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4. And now we need to find the equilibrium concentrations for these. So we'll come up with some algebraic expressions. I'll set any one of these molecules, their change as X. So I'll set this one as X and I'll make stoichiometric comparisons, ratios between this molecule and one of the reactant molecules. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, so this will also be X except it will be negative because we're comparing reactants to products. Similarly, if I compare one to one here, I also get negative X. And to find E, we take I plus C. That's always equal to your equilibrium. 2.5 plus X is 2.5 plus X. Zero plus negative X is negative X and zero plus negative x again is negative x. I'll substitute these expressions in where they belong in this equilibrium expression. So negative x times negative x gives us x squared. So x squared at the top and at the bottom I'll write down 2.5 plus x is equal to 4.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4. We need to solve for x because once we do, we can substitute it back into this expression that's highlighted and find out the equilibrium concentration for H3O+. Then from there, we can find the percent ionization. I'll multiply both sides by 2.5 plus x. And by all means, since k sub a, this number, is really small, there are times where you can completely ignore this x and pretend that it doesn't even exist. But I'll take the honest route. I'll multiply both sides by 2.5x, look what happens. This expression and this expression completely cancels out, leaving you with x squared on the right side. At the same time, I'll take this x squared to the left side so that I have an equation that is quadratic on the left side and zero on the right side. So after taking this x squared over, we have zero on the right side. And on the left side, we have negative x squared but this part right here needs to be expanded into the expression to its left. So 4.6, let's use your calculator. 4.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 4 times 2.5 gives us 1.15 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Again, this number times x is itself with the x multiplied to it, and minus x squared. As mentioned earlier, this is a quadratic equation, 
because it has a degree of 2 right here. As a result, we need to use the quadratic formula. I'll expedite this process by using a function on my calculator by clicking mode 5 and 3. I'll substitute the coefficients in for a, b, and c. The coefficient for a is negative 1, so negative 1. The coefficient for b is 4.6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 4. And c is the constant of the quadratic, the constant being the term that's not being multiplied to any variable. So it's this one. We end up with two answers, one that's 0 0.0341, 0 0.0341. I'm going to omit this one. This is incorrect, and I'm going to explain why. And the other is negative 0 0.0336. I'm going to accept this one only because if you substitute that number back into this expression, negative x, you end up with a positive output. So pretend you multiply this number by negative 1, you get positive 0 0.0336. So let me write that down. The hydronium concentration is positive 0 0.0336. Now because our k sub a had two significant figures, our answer should also have two significant figures. So this 3 becomes a 4. We should have 0 0.034 molar. Now, the purpose of this exercise was to find the percent ionization. So at this point, you take this number and you divide it by the initial concentration of the acid. And that was given in the question as 2.5 molar. So we divide these out, multiply them by 100%. Let's see what happens. 0 0.034 divided by 2.5 and if you want rather than using the rounded version of this answer to be more accurate we can actually use the unrounded version and then round at the end to two significant figures so I'll do that instead that gives me 0 0.013 times 100 percent now to two significant figures that is 1.3 percent ionization and there you have it that is how to find the percent ionization of a weak acid.